Hey guys, welcome to your YouTube channel where we talk all about gate. Welcome back and we are studying DBMS. We have understood all the normal forms. We have practiced some of the questions to find out the highest normal form. Now in this video, we are solving another type of question which comes under the category of model 2. Here we are finding out subset relation normal form. We will be given a relation, we will be giving it functional dependency set and we will be given a small subset relation out of it for which we have to find out the normal form. How the question is going to look like, let's look at here. I have taken the question right here. A relation R with A, B, C, D, E, five attributes which have the functional dependency set. Now it is asking, there is another, assume there is another relation S with three attributes A, B, C. What is the normal form for this relation S? Okay. Also from this question, I think you would have figured out that we are given the functional dependency set only for the bigger relation, not for the smaller relation. If it is given for the smaller relation, then what is new to be calculated? What is new to solve? Right? Right. So let's start solving something which is absolutely new. Okay. So we have relation S with A, B, C. Let's assume that the functional dependency set for this relation S is G. And we have to find out what should be the functional dependencies in that set. Of course, in order to find out its normal form, first of all, we should know what is the key. For knowing the key, we should have the functional dependency set, okay, which is not given to us at all. So we have to first of all find out the functional dependency set. How do we do that? You remember from the F plus the closure of the functional dependency set, how do we find out the closure of functional dependency set? Uh, this is exactly what we are going to do here. We will try to figure out the value of G, which is going to be the subset of F plus. Okay, so we will see what all functional dependencies present in the closure of F are applicable to G. All those we will put up here in G. So let's find out F plus in order to have A, B, C only. We are not trying to find out the F plus in order to have A, B, C, D, E, all five of them. Only for these three attributes, we will find out the F plus. So what it becomes? You remember, we used to take the all subset of whatever uh, attributes are present. For all of them, we'll try to find out its closure. And everything together used to make the F plus. If at all you have doubt, you can go and check in the playlist that F plus chapter is there. Okay. So we will take up all the attributes A plus, we will also take up the B plus, we will also take up the C plus. So let's find out what is A plus and of course we have to calculate only from here. So what is A plus? A plus is nothing but then only A. What is B plus from there? It is only, only B. What is C plus? C plus gives us C, C gives us E, E gives us A, okay. Now A gives us nothing but then only A. So C plus gives you C, E, A. What else is possible? So A, B plus from here is A, B, D and E. What else? A, B, D, E. And D also gives you C. So all A, B, C, D, E. Now B, C plus from here gives you, it will give you certainly B, C. What else it can give you? C gives you E, which is of no use for us, but still I'm finding out E gives us A. Okay, fine. What else? We have got A and B together, so we will also get the value of D. So we have got from B, C plus that it gives us A, B, C, D, E, all five of them. Now what is A, C plus from here? Of course, A, C itself and then C gives us E. A, C, E. Do we get anything else? No, because uh, A, C, C will give us E, E is, will give us A, e, A is already present, D is not coming by any chance and B is also not coming by any chance, so that's it. And what else is possible? At the last, A, B, C. The last possibility is A, B, C. So let's find out. So this is how we have seen that uh, F plus can be calculated in terms of A, B, C, I mean with, with all the eight possibilities 
all eight subset possible of ABC we have taken them and find out their closures. Now we have to figure out which of them is giving us a function dependency. So A plus gives us A is a trivial function dependency so it is of no use for us. B plus gives B again of no use. It's trivial which we know it is always present right because it is always true. C plus gives you C trivial. C plus gives you E of no use because E is not part of this set. C gives you A exactly this is to be included so c gives a is our very first functional dependency that we have got from here let's check here cut a and b because it determines itself okay cut d no use cut e no use a b determines c certainly is a useful thing so the second functional dependency becomes a b determines the value of c okay let's check for the next one b c trivial cut it out E no use, D no use, B C gives you A certainly useful so B C gives you A okay yes now from A C plus A C no use, E no use so no functional dependency from here from A B C trivial cut it off E and D of no use so we have got three functional dependency one from here one from here and one from here and this becomes a function dependency set okay so now now after finding out that yes you have a relation you also know its function dependency set can you now answer what is the normal form for this exactly so please pause the video get up with your pen and paper as you have solved this much now find out the normal form and come back and check the video whether your normal form is right or not so let's take up the key quickly what becomes a key out from these so let's take up uh, ab plus ab plus gives you a b and c okay and also a can be replaced by c so c b plus that is bc plus which gives you bc and bc also gives you a can you replace anything else here no uh, do we have a plus as key no, because A plus gives only A, B plus gives only B, C plus gives only AC, nothing else. So even that is not the key. So we have two keys here, one is AB, one is BC. AB to C, it's a complete key. So what type of dependency it is? It's a very good functional dependency, we have no problem. BC to A, again a very good functional dependency, no problem because the, the determinant part is a key itself, okay? Now coming C to A, this is part of key and this is also part of key. So what is it? It's a violation of BCNF. Violation of BCNF and you can see here why violation is happening because we have overlapping candidate keys. A, B and B, C they are overlapped with an attribute that is B and that's why it's violation of BCNF and so the highest normal form for this relation is what? It is in third normal form it is not in bcnf but it is in 3nf and for further i mean i think it is very clear for such type of question whenever you are given so let's solve one more question on the same format we are here in the question number two we are given the relation r with five attributes a b c d e and its respective function dependency set is given we want to know the function the normal form for the subset of this which is s by the attributes a b c and of course we don't have the function dependency set given for this relation okay so as we did before uh, we'll do it at the same way again we'll try to find out the value of g through the f plus okay and for that f plus we are taking only the subset of these three attributes like this so let's calculate quickly what is a plus coming up from here of course it is a a plus from there do you see anything else coming from a it comes D and through D mm, nothing else explicitly this is it from B plus it certainly gives B with B nothing else alone with C plus certainly C anything else no with A B plus A B of course okay and what else is possible D is possible through A okay so we have B D with B D we are also having the value of E okay fine 
but uh, with d and e we are having the value of b but that is already there are we getting c by any way no we are not so this is it for bc plus it is bc certainly okay anything else through bc plus no because b with d c with a and we are not getting them so this is it with ac plus of course a and c with a it becomes d okay with ac it becomes e so let's take e also and now with de it gives you the value of b okay so this becomes a b c d e entirely and of course we need not to calculate for abc plus in the last question i had showed you because abc will uh, represent itself always it will always determine itself but that becomes a trivial function dependency so we do not to consider that okay now from here what all becomes the use the usable things for us uh, a plus trivial b no use because it is not present b plus trivial c plus trivial a b plus trivial d no use e no use b c plus b c trivial no use a c plus a c trivial d e no use b yes so only one functional dependency coming up from here in g and that is a c determines the value of b so this is the only functional dependency that we are encountering in this particular relation okay so now with this relation and with this functional dependency let's find out the key for this given relation nothing but then let's find out ac plus will give you all a b and c and so ac is a key and is the only key and with that key being this functional dependency is very well a good functional dependency neither partial nor transitive nor the violation of bcnf and so the relation is in which normal form definitely the relation is in bcnf okay so the relation is in bcnf i hope that this type of questions are very clear uh, for you to solve and you have understood how to you know implement what all we have learned so far in order to find out what is given in the question and what is not given in the question and i'm dropping one more question here on the board the question number 3 for you with the same format bigger relation r with a functional dependency set smaller relation s with no functional dependency set find out its highest normal form so this is for you to practice at home so please uh, do solve this question and put the uh, answer in the comment section uh, that what is the highest normal form for this relation and i will see you very soon in the next video probably where we are going to start about the decomposition part and the properties of decomposition uh, again uh, please do share this uh, video with your friend because you know this particular model of questions are rarely seen by anyone else explaining so please do share them so that others can get to know about these type of questions also do exist and ask and are asked by the gate exam bye bye